Hello and welcome to our seventh Monarch's Journey character. This time we are playing as Duke Pavao of Croatia. He has several siblings and two sons and he rules over the duchies of Croatia and whom. His jobs are to become the King of Serbia and the Duke of Bosnia, Croatia and whom. And to also control all the de jure territories that are a part of this. Right now we have one out of four, as uh, we do not fully control Croatia. Venice has a city in Veglia, and they also hold the county of Azara. Next up, we need to land six more dynasty members. The uh, tooltip mentions brothers and sons, but uh, any relatives count. So grandsons, uh, cousins, and more distant relatives are all fine, as long as they're your dynasty. And lastly, we need to build three great works. So that's going to cost a lot of money. And we'll also need to become independent to start building great works. Although right now, Hungary is a kingdom. And if we hold Serbia, then by default we would be independent from Hungary. Simply because you can't be a king of vassal to another king. Right now... We have a lot of things going against us. First of all, we are a vessel, which is annoying. Secondly, we are a tributary state of Serbia, while well, we are a vessel of Hungary, so we're going to get even less income. Uh, we're also a tributary state of Hungary, despite also being a vessel, so <laughs> there goes even more of our income. And uh, Venice has a city in Veglia, as mentioned before, and that means they are going to try to take the county as... Uh, as a merchant republic, they can do that. Now, also, Bosnia, which has, uh, well, Bosnia, which we need, is a tributary state of Hungary, which means we cannot declare war on them as long as we are a vassal to Hungary. Fortunately, here at least, uh, Hungary is going to release them from their tributary status very soon, uh, because they have the jure claims on Bosnia as the king of Croatia so that shouldn't be an issue but uh, the whole Venice situation is a little bit of a mess now fortunately we do have all these relatives so we're going to be able to get a lot of alliances which will allow us to eventually uh, take stuff from Venice we're not going to do that immediately though because uh, well, there's going to be a crusade against Egypt very soon after the start and all our allies are probably going to get distracted by that. So for now, we're just going to start fabricating a claim on Ragusa so that when we do get to fight Venice, we can try to take that along with whatever else we end up taking. And we're just going to set the rest of our council to do things. We will change our court chaplain to someone a bit more competent so that we can hopefully get good relations with the Pope as uh, that might let us get some claims and of course we'll also set the important minor titles now our council doesn't have any loyalists so we can probably change very few things we can change the centralization and I suppose we might as well and let's see what else we can do here Let's join an order, that's always nice. And then we of course want to start getting our relatives and ourselves married. So first of all we want to have our son get married to... Let's go with the Princess of Bohemia for our oldest and the Princess of the Holy Roman Empire for our second son. And for our half-brother he can get married to... A princess of Castile and then we just have a bunch of adults left to get uh, married so let's go with not the princess of Hungary as she is going to get sent to China before the king of Hungary will respond to our offer but uh, this woman has the same age so let's go with her and we will also go with a princess of France and for our more distant kinsmen, you can get married to the Princess of Bulgaria. And then we have a half-sister who should also get married and will go with uh, a Mongol, why not? And lastly, of course, we want to make sure to set ourselves an ambition. 
and we'll go with building a war chest and getting the business focus. As mentioned, there's going to be a crusade for Egypt very soon, so we'll get our money out of that. And uh, until then, we're just going to hopefully not uh, die too horribly to Venice and be able to actually participate in the crusade. Alright, so the crusade has begun. We already moved our troops over to Egypt so that they can participate as soon as possible. And uh, apparently our uh, leash has uh, expelled the Jews at the same time. reason we wanted to uh, have our troops over here as soon as possible is of course so that we are the first to start getting uh, war participation. So we'll hopefully get as much money as possible. And we'll be able to uh, use that to achieve our goals. I see a little army here, so we can immediately get a little bit of participation from fighting them. And then we're just going to siege stuff for uh, our participation. And of course, we are going to make sure that everyone in our court likes us by doing the commander shuffle and making everyone a crusader. As that gives a plus 15 religious same trait opinion bonus. So... Uh, yeah, if everyone is a crusader, everyone will like each other and we'll all get along and work together happily and it'll be all great and wonderful. Uh, let's also make sure that our council is not doing anything for the moment so that they can actually join in in the fun of being assigned to Egypt. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, do this shuffling of commanders and then... Uh, try to make sure we get as much participation as possible. Alright, so oh, the crusade was successful. Our half-brother over here got the Duchy of Fayum and uh, we definitely built up that war chest. So praise God and all that. And in the meantime we used our piety to get a claim on the county of Ragusa. So when we declare a war on Venice we'll be able to go to war for both Zara and Ragusa and after that we'll just need to uh, get the city of Veglia for we have kicked Venice out of the areas that we need. So let's find ourselves a new ambition. I think we'll try to make a friend. We'll try to uh, make friends with... let's go with our half-brother. He's probably going to hate us soon because we're going to take his land. So maybe uh, befriending him will give us a little bit of uh, a bonus to his opinion to make sure that he still doesn't completely despise us. Anyway, uh, as we have obtained some money from the crusade and are planning to go to war against Venice now, we are also going to make sure we have some alliances. And we'll just check to see which ones of those uh, marriages we made earlier will result in alliances for us. And then we can call them all in when we go to war against Venice. And we'll completely stomp them because now our allies won't be distracted by a crusade. And our troops are back home, so we can lower them. Um, sure, whatever. Now we're going to declare a war, press all claims, and uh, yeah, call in those allies. And as they are currently in a war already, they probably won't respond too quickly to us having declared a war on them, so we don't have to worry about suddenly 6,000 troops being on our coast. Which means we can actually start sieging them before uh, our allies show up, rather than having to retreat into Hungary as soon as we declare the war and then waiting around. So that's nice. Alright, Venice has surrendered, thanks to our friends from France and the Holy Roman Empire mainly. Um, not quite sure where the Holy Roman Empire went, but they did help. Uh, so, yeah. And that means we now only need to get this one city of Veglia to have the Duchy of Croatia completely under our control. And we have our first county in Serbia. So, we've made progress. We're trying to fabricate a claim on Bosnia because, well, we can't uh, use a papal claim because they are a different religion. So right now that's pretty much what we are waiting for in terms of progressing towards the goal of getting all the land we need. We can however try to get some 
other things. Now let's see if there's anything uh, interesting that we can request. Might be uh, worth aiming to get some land off of Hungary to uh, weaken them for when we become independent and also just to give land to our relatives for that particular task. So we'll just uh, have a look, see which are the Hungarian rulers we can claim from. Well, apparently only the Count of Bihar. So, well, let's just claim that then. Let's uh, also see where that actually is. It's all the way over there. Well, either way, their uh, leash has a slightly larger army than us because we did just fight a war. So we'll wait a bit until we have troops again and then we'll go claim Bihar and uh, we'll have slightly more land to give away to our relatives. Right now we are in need of six more. So if we get two more counties and we can just give uh, them all away to relatives and we'll have this done all right we took Bihar which made us large enough that we could uh, stop paying tribute to Serbia as that requires us to be larger than them and uh, we have also convinced the Pope to grant us a few more claims so our next goals will be Komar and the Duchy of Ungvar. Although we'll wait until these uh, Lollards are gone so that we don't have to fight them while we are trying to get the Duchy. And I'm also plotting to uh, kill the Baron of Savdat in Ragusa because uh, he does not have any heirs so that's an extra holding for us to give to our relatives. So that's uh, some uh, nice benefit that will help us progress. In the meantime, Serbia declared a holy war for Bosnia, which they appear to be uh, winning. So we'll probably need to take everything else that we need to get from Serbia. Well, and that one city from Venice. And then, of course, we need to get an independent from Hungary in order to uh, become the king of Serbia and to be able to make our great works. All right, we uh, succeeded in killing the... Uh, Baron of Kavtat, so we're going to drop down a save and then we are going to find any unlanded dynasty members uh, that are in our part of Hungary and we're just going to uh, start throwing away titles. And this is going to piss off the uh, council but as we drop down that save it doesn't really matter. And there we go, we got gold, and now we can just resign and load that save. Alright, so I've been keeping an eye out on the uh, requested claims thing, and I noticed we can get a claim on the Count of Sermia, which so happens to be inside the Kingdom of Croatia, which, uh, together with the County of Vrbosna claim that we have, will put us at 8 counties inside Croatia if we manage to press all of them and uh, it just so happens to be that Croatia has 6, 10, 14, 15 counties which means that if we were to be independent we would be able to usurp the uh, kingdom of Croatia with that amount of counties so that's what we are going to do we are going to uh, get this claim and then we are going to try to uh, get that county then we'll try to split up Hungary into Croatia and Hungary and we'll be a part of Croatia being uh, the Duke of Croatia and then we'll become independent from Croatia and then proceed to claim the kingdom so uh, that is our plan for now and of course we'll try to take as much out of Hungary while we're at it just to uh, make sure that they are as weak as possible and they're not going to annoy us later on. Okay, so the Pope gave us a few extra uh, duchy claims within the Kingdom of Hungary, so we don't really need to bother pressing the individual county claims that we still have anymore. And we also don't really need to bother with sp splitting up Hungary to make it uh, less of a threat when we become independent, because we are most of Hungary at this point, so we're just going to uh, start an independence faction 
Just wait a little bit to see if anybody happens to feel like joining. It doesn't appear to be the case. It doesn't matter, we have more than enough troops. We are going to demand independence. And, uh, well, apparently they want to fight. So we'll just uh, proceed to do that. As you can see, we uh, outmatch them quite a bit. So this should not be any sort of problem. And then once uh, we have our independence, we can usurp their title since we just hold that much land. And then we can proceed to take Bosnia and then we just need to take Serbia and build the Great Works. Taking Serbia is probably going to be the biggest pain because they are Orthodox, which means that the Pope cannot grant us claims on them. So we just have to get lucky with our... Uh, Chancellor fabricating claims, which he is apparently having a success rate of 0% per year. Ah, it's because he's in seclusion. And, uh, or getting uh, claimants to various lands inside Serbia to be willing to join our court. If that happens, then we can get uh, them landed and they can then proceed to uh, have their claims pressed by us. And then they'll be a part of the kingdom and we can usurp Serbia that way. Anyway, uh, we'll just fight and win this war. Shouldn't be any problem for us. Especially if we actually uh, get a commander to lead this side of our troops. And it does appear that there are some... Uh, people from the Holy Roman Empire fighting us. Let's see what's up with that. They are attacking in the Polish war for the claim on Arva. Well, we'll just have to make sure to stay out of their way and probably also avoid Arva to make sure that uh, we don't accidentally get crushed by our former allies' armies. Still, we'll be fine. And there we go. We have crushed their armies again and we are at 100% war score. 41.66% from just holding all of our holdings. So there we go, we are now independent. And well, we currently cannot usurp the title since uh, they're involved in a war. They managed to enter a war with the Polish by uh, trying to revoke the land here and that led to them being uh, at war because they refused. Let's see what's going on with Venice. There is a little bit of a war going on with the Duchy of Kran, it would appear. So we're going to have to wait until that war is over before we can start our own war on the city. I mean, we can start it now, but it's not really going to go anywhere if the one thing we want is occupied. So we'll just wait until uh, stuff has happened and then we will usurp titles everywhere well this helps we got a strong claim on the kingdom of serbia thanks to our new chancellor it helps a bit to have the become king of croatia ambition as this allows you to fabricate claims on entire kingdoms and it doesn't actually check whether it's the kingdom you're trying to, to become a king of that uh, you are fabricating a claim on so yeah strong claim on the kingdom of serbia we'll be pressing that as soon as we uh, win this war against bosnia okay so we have won our war with serbia we also claimed the kingdom of croatia so uh, we are now getting some good progress we are at two out of four since we got the kingdom of serbia we also took one county off of bosnia because we could press that claim while we were waiting for people to stop being at war and uh, well let's continue on and uh, get our Venetian stuff they have hired a lot of troops but they are currently at war and apparently our uh, council doesn't want us to fight a war mostly because uh, people owe uh, favors or return favors to our chancellor and marshal presumably so I guess we'll just uh, get ourselves coordinated. We are saving up gold for those great works, so we'll uh, go with the cheaper option here. And uh, 
after we have been coronated we'll see about uh, what we can do with, with Venice. What's going on here? They're defending against something somewhere else. Anyway, there we go, we have been crowned. Let's see if we are still not allowed to f declare a war. We're still not allowed to declare a war. Let's uh, see who exactly is the one they are owing favors to. Stun, stun, stun. So we need to get rid of the mayor of Stun. That is our chancellor. Goodbye. And I think we can actually use a de jure claim on Bosnia when uh, we get to Bosnia. So we don't need to be fabricating any claims. I suppose we might as well try to make the Pope like us even more. And in the meantime, we're going to get our Veclia holdings. And then we will be at 3 out of 4. We'll just need Bosnia at that point. And so we have taken over the city of Veglia, which means we now have all of the Duchy of Croatia. And we are at 3 out of 4 on Conqueror from Premier. Now, in theory, what we could do is uh, pr place a save and then just... Oh! Never mind. I was going to say we could just place a safe and then break the truce to get this claim and then already have the challenge done, but looks like the previous ruler of Bosnia has uh, passed away. So uh, we can just press our claim right now. And then we will only need to finish the construction of great works to be completely done with this character monarch journey. Now this war should not be too hard as we rather severely outmatch Bosnia at this point. And after that we'll see how close we are to being able to build three great works. And we have won our war with Bosnia. So we can send those troops home and we have gotten conqueror from Bribir. Now for the great works, we look at the price. The cheapest ones are 1,392 gold. So that would be about 4.2k gold to build three, but that is ignoring the fact that they increase in price once you have great works, which means we're going to need about 2,000 gold more than that in order to actually be able to build three great works. Now, ideally, to get that gold, we'd uh, turn Venice into a tributary. However, we currently have a truce with them, so we're going to uh, find various other neighbors to turn into a tributary. And what better to start with than Hungary, if it wasn't for the fact that we have a truce with them. Let's go with... Well, actually, instead, they have a... Uh, relatively low amount of troops so we should be able to handle them without any problems and then we'll just uh, work our way south with Bulgaria, the Byzantine Empire and then probably Hungary at that point and hopefully by then we'll have enough gold to actually build our great works. Alright, well we seem to already have enough gold probably so we can go and build our great works. So we'll want to have the cheapest great works possible. So that would be the great university, the great lighthouse and the ruler statue. And yeah, we have enough gold. Courtesy of Pisa who sent us several marriage requests and since they are a merchant republic they actually have to uh, pay for that. Now of course if you wanted to continue playing uh, at the point that you have enough gold but not quite with these particular great works you could also always just save the game and then uh, load it up after you get your challenge done. But for me this was it. We are going to say farewell to Croatia. I hope you enjoyed watching uh, Croatia take over a significant chunk of the Balkans and build their great works and I hope you'll uh, be watching again when the next video of a, a monarch's journey is uploaded. If you want to make sure that you 
are notified when that happens, make sure to subscribe and until then, have a great time.